Hello Fox, welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K21. So the course we've got for you today is the Preserve GC. And this is located in Van Cleve, Mississippi, and it is by a friend Bomber. So let's have a look at the sentence. Again, as everything is on a default. Here we have the fairways at soft, the greens are normal, green speeds fast, time of day is morning, overcast. We have one, two, three, four, five sets of tees. We're going to go off the black, so it looks pretty short. 6,700. 58 yards. Let's get going. Okay, let's get the sky come up. We shall have a little look around. Okay, what it says here. The Preserve Golf Club is 18 holes of pure golf. The course encompasses 245 pristine acres. Surrounded by an additional 1,800 acres of Dedicated Nature Preserve. Designed by US Open champion and award-winning designer, the Gerald Pate, the native surroundings of pitcher plant bogs, cypress swamps, longleaf pine savannas, live oak groves, and native grass prairies are ingeniously integrated into the design of the 18-hole par 71 layout. Our friend Bomber is an absolutely fantastic designer. The amount of courses the guy's got out. He's got a course catalog over on HP Studios. Let me have a look at it. I might actually have put a link to it in the description of the video. Now, if you've seen the Pebble Beach in that that I played, and I'm sure he did a TPC Sawgrass as well, but the Pebble Beach that I've got on the channel, uh, that is actually his course, Friend Bombers, the one that HP have actually asterisked the name out. We can't find it in the search system anymore. Lovely planting, very nicely done. And uh, as you know me, I do love RCRs. I love very natural looking courses. Okay, you got a big lake up here on the, the right hand side. Let's go have a quick look at the plot actually. I do like the, the way he's got this the sort of brown and the green sort of complements each other very, very well. A nice sort of contrast, if you know what I mean. We've got a nice white sand as well. And of course you've got the cart paths going through. Okay, nice big lake there. It looks like we've got another smaller one over here. Oh, that's a nice looking hole. That's a nice approach into the green that is. Very, very nice. Do a quick screenshot there. Well, if you don't, if you're into online societies, there's going to be a massive one, and I'm sure it's this week it starts for, I'm sure it's this week, Waste Management at TPC Scottsdale, I think. And it is actually endorsed by the PGA Tour. So they're actually endorsing this. And what they're going to do, they're going to run sort of concurrent uh, along with the, the proper tournaments through um, the PGA schedule. So I think it's going to be absolutely massive. I think it's going to be on all platforms, PC, PS4, and Xbox. I'm not sure about Stadia or Switch, but I will get back to you about that if I find out anything about it. But yeah, I'm actually thinking about jumping in and having a little bash myself. As I said, it's going to be absolutely massive. And the settings they're going to be using are going to be pro settings. So I think that's going to be just to open it up to a, a bigger sort of base, if you know what I mean, Big, a bigger base of players. Now, I'm kind of hoping they don't have the power bar on and putt previews and all that kind of crap. But we shall see. If it's ended to be like HB's online society, they have putt previews on and the power bar and all that kind of stuff, and the true shot bar, which I don't think should be on in any sort of competitive play but we shall see okay over to the first tee let's get this started and let's get going okay hole one 425 yards let's see we hit a nice one off the tee oh a bit of a slope that should be okay looks there's plenty of room down the fairway here Nice big drive, 317 yards, right hand side of the fairway. Okay, 107, four down. 
And let's just bring that back to just a touch. Oh, it's a pitch shot. Do I want to go with a pitch? Let's go with a normal shot. Bring it down the sand wedge. That gives us 111. Let's bring it back down to about there. How's the light? <gasps> oh, I thought I hit slow there, but that's perfect. Blew my neck. Oh, what a shot! I actually thought I, I really did hit slow there. I thought I was warbound for some reason. Let me start off the birdie. Nice one. Okay, par 3, 206. Going in there with a 4 iron. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, alright. Let's actually bring it in from the right hand side here. We'll put a bit of draw on it. I might just bring it back just a touch. Oh, fast. So that's going to be left, I think. Ah, damn it. Right, we're not going to go with a chip from here. I think we shall go with a pitch. Bring it back down to the sand wedge. Oh, we've got 76 to 83%. 18 yards. We'll play it for about 19. That should be okay. I'm kind of hoping we'll pick up the path from there. And we do. Nice one. Okay, oh, that's that one with the retaining wall. Now, driver's going to be way too much, so we will stick with the three wood. Bit of a fast, but it looks like there's plenty of room down there. It might be okay. Oh, it's going to be close. Well, that's fine. It's actually sloping into the um, from left to right there, so that's good. Might leave us a bit of a tougher shot downhill. Okay, 114. We are 111 with the sand wedge, 5 mile an hour wind against us, so I think we've been up to the gap wedge. <gasps> oh, that's a massive fast. That is not a good one. That's way left off the green. Again, because we're going uphill here, I'm not going to use the chip. I will bring that back down with the pitch shot. We're going to come down the angle attack, try and get it stopped just a little bit quicker as well. But I hit a bloody big massive fast there as well. It's so so hard to get a perfect on them little tiny pitch shots. Oh, we seem to hit a fast. Okay, 15 feet, 2 inches up. Oh, it's not turning, it's not turning. So we're going to get a bogey. Okay, back to evens. Okay, par five. Okay, it looks like thins real down quite a bit here. The same, just a little bit to the right hand side. Oh, damn it. Yeah, blue and slow. That's going to be in the rough. I was going to go right into the thick shit, that thick stuff. <laughs> Excuse my French there. Okay, 72%, 63, 63 with three wood. Who's that? Ooh. I think we'll probably just go with the three hybrid here, to be honest. Hit a fast. It's still going to be down this. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be down the right hand side there, but no, it's in the middle. We're on quite a big slope there from left to right. So we've still got a chance to get on and pick up a birdie, hopefully. Right, six mile an hour wind against us though. So let's put out to about there. Oh, come on. I think that's going to hit the slope. That's going to be a massive putt. Didn't even make the slope. So we're going to be putting uphill here. Quite a big putt. Okay, 41 feet, one foot up. Let's just check that. Yep, run right about that. 
That's not going to turn much, I don't think. It starts off right to left and then goes left to right. Oh, 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 pace was absolutely lovely there. Absolutely spot on. Okay, again, it sort of thins down once you get up closer to the green here. Oh, another slow. Not good. And that kind of leaves us an awkward um, approach into the green there, the way the green comes round to the right hand side here. Okay, 69. So bring it back to about there. Alright, can't afford to hit a slow here. So we hit a fast, so it should be okay actually. That's not too bad. We might still be able to come away with a, a birdie here. Okay, not a bad looking little pie actually. Oh, how we get it around the hole in the back door. Takes us back to minus one. Okay, another par three here, 172, quite a nice little par three. Again, slight slow on the eye on that. Just gonna push it a little bit right at the pin. And again, it's just caught that little bit of a slow, but I don't think it's gonna go too far. Hopefully. Nope, it's just caught the bigger bit of the slope. <laughs> that was going to speed that up just a little touch there. Okay, let's check again, make sure it is one foot up. No, it is eight inches up. Let's put it to about there. Oh, that's not very good. That was well off. I've actually speeded my putting up a little bit because I kept pulling the putting. My putting line was just absolutely terrible. It seems to be a little bit better now that I'm following through a little bit quicker. As you see, it's not got that sort of big curve to it. Watch this, I'm saying that, I'll probably do it in the next one. <laughs> okay, right. Let's put a little bit of fade around here. Oh, nice. Putting, get in there, right off the center of the bat. Beautiful. Right in the center of the fairway. So what do you think about Patrick Reed then? Uh, a lot of people are sticking up for him, but a lot of people are thinking he's cheating. Now, I watched the video quite a few times, and there was a video that I watched that the guy actually slowed it down, and to me, it actually looked, he actually had a, another ball in his hand. Why has he got another ball in his hand? When he's checking his, his uh, main ball, he shouldn't have another ball in his hand, period. Uh, but apart from that, uh, when he was hovering over the ball, it actually looked like he was pressing down on it. I actually thought he actually pressed down on it, put pressure on it, so it would put an indentation um, in the ground. And that's the indentation that the judge, or the official, seen. But again, then you had Rory doing it as well. But I think with Patrick Reed, with his background and the way he's acted over the years with some of his dubious stuff with the, the bunkers and that. I don't think anybody's going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But I mean, he's got away with it. He won. And I also... Oh, damn it. I need to stop talking on the button. I also think it affected him as well because after that hole, I think he hit four bogeys. And then he got a birdie on the 18th, I think it was. So it was playing on his head, you can tell. But I don't know why, but he's, he is such a good player. I don't know why he does things like that. Okay, that's going to be nice. Right, I need to concentrate a little bit here. Just over 300 yards. And it's a par 5. We're not going to reach the green in 2, though. Oh, bloody hell. Surprised it didn't fall off of that one. That was a massive... It's going to bounce, though. Nice. Kind of got away with that. 
bit lucky. Now it looks like the pin's on this top shelf here, so we want to go make sure we get up there. Don't want to go too short. Oh, that should be all right. It's not too bad. That held pretty well as well. I will pick up another birdie. Nice. It takes us to minus two. On to the ninth. Oh, yeah, very nice course. I think old friend, old, old friend Bombers courses are absolutely fantastic. It does an absolutely beautiful job on them. There's a lot of lighter courses as well. Like I said, I will put a link in the description to his course catalogue. Have a look through them. There's some amazing courses on there. I don't know if he's actually republished uh, Pebble Beach. I'll have to have a look. Okay, what we got here? 128, one foot up. I think we're probably good going in there at about 131, just because that little bit of wind. Oh, we hit another fast, so it's going to be left of the pin. Okay, come on, there we go. Okay, 24 feet, 6 inches are down. Keep turning, come on. Oh, that was unlucky. Not too old, don't catch the slope. Stay there. Okay, we'll take the part. On to the tenth. I do love the plant, the amount of the, the grasses now that he's got there. Very nicely done. Slight fast. I don't know if that's going to hold the fairway. I did aim it a little bit right. Oh, there's a little slope there, so that's going to slow the ball down. And it's going to hold the fairway. Lovely. Okay, I think we'll come back to club here. Oh, slight slow. It should still run up. That'll do. Lovely. Pin high. A little bit right of the pin there. And we pick up. Oh, a par. <laughs> a little bit too much pace in that one. Oh, I thought we had that. I actually thought we had that. Oh, if that wind was going the other way. Wow. Let's aim it to the right hand side. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't we hit that much of a fast? I keep trying to hit just off perfect, slight fast, but that was massive. That was terrible. Okay, right. Oof, not good either. We're still going to roll up onto the flat sort of area here. Oh, man, it's not too bad actually. Oh, hold on. No, no. Just trickled off onto the fringe. I don't know whether I just chip this or putt it. I will go for the chip. Oh yes, get in there. Quite glad I went for the chip now. Well, I'll have a little drink of my iron and brew. Lovely little chip. Won't bother saving that though. Right, I think I'm just going to go with the three wood here. Oh yes, that's nice. That wind's going to push it right about, sort of right in the centre of the fairway for us here. That moves a nice angle into the green. Bring it back just, no, no, don't need to bring it back a touch with that bit of wind against us here. Oh, no, felt that one, definitely, massive slope. Wow, terrible. Tell you what, if that society, online society was on master settings, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> I might do not too bad on um, pro settings, to be honest. 
Let's take that pin out. Okay. I think that's going to be a bit right of the pin. Yep. Uh, a little bit right of the hole. But we should pick up the par. Okay, another par three, quite a longish one, 207. Now we're going in there with a four iron. I think I'm going to change it to the five iron just because of the wind. Oh, come on. That is not a good shot. Again, massive fast. I'll tell you what, it has been ooh, four, five days since I played though. Okay, hold up, you need to hold up. Uh oh, that's on the fringe. Yeah, my um, uploading sort of region is going to be a little bit sketchy over the next sort of couple of days to a week, I think. Alright, I'm going to pot this. No, I'm not, I'm going to chip it. Yeah, let's chip it. Chip, there we go. Bring that right back. Oh, just bounced off the pin. That's another bogey. Yeah, as I said, uh, my upload is going to be a little bit sketchy over the next couple of days to a week. Uh, the, the wife's father in, uh, is in palliative care. He's, he's diagnosed with um, prostate cancer in October, November. Now, he used to, on October, when he, before he got diagnosed, he used to play golf three times a week. Um, him and his wife, he's 78 years old, but still go on cycle runs and things like that. So he was pretty fit for 78 years old. And he was the one that actually got me into golf, talking about 30 years, 30 years ago now. He took me out for my first round of golf and I just fell in love with it. So uh, this has got a phone call today saying it was, it was not very good. She'll have to come over, but he's still hanging in there. But he's really not good. As I said, it's prostate cancer, then it metastasized, or whatever they say it is. Uh, to his bones and then it's um, spread to his brain as well now so he's really really not good we think we actually thought it was going to be today but it could be tomorrow it could be the next day but it is going to be pretty soon and she's she's not going to um, handle it very well so i just thought i'd let you know uh, if you don't see me up for quite a few days oh that's not bad and it's not very nice because i lost my um, my father and my sister to it as well. And so it's a horrible, horrible thing. I suppose a lot of you guys out there, um, I, mean, yeah, I think everybody's been affected by this in some way. Um, right, enough of that. Let's get on with the game. Get a bit of concentration here so you can pick up a couple more birdies. What we want, minus two. Yeah, it's not been a very nice start to the new year yeah me the missus and the two daughters with COVID and then this as well but so la vie oh that was not bad i actually thought that was gonna be a massive fast it's weird though you know sometimes you hit the ball and you think oh that felt okay and you hit a massive fast and then the next shot you hit the driver it, it, it's just weird it's, it's just got to do with the transition it's nothing to do with how quick you swing back and swing forward it's just that did a bit of a change at the top of the swing. Right, what have we got here? 125, four down. Let's bring it back just a touch. But I'll tell you what, let's bring that back a touch and that back a touch. Slight fast. So it's going to be quite a bit left of the pin here. Going to get a bit of spin on it and it's going to catch this slope. And that is going to leave us another massive putt uphill. Looks like it's going to be turning left to right as well. It certainly is. Okay, one foot up. Let's have a look. Yep, 13 inches. Okay, let's just get it close and hopefully pick up the par here. Oh, I'm going to hit that too hard. 
Yeah, I think my putting line is a lot better now that I've sort of speeded up the, the downswing. I'm not getting that sort of big banana shape to my, my putting stroke. Well, but I think it's probably still going to take me a couple of rounds to get used to it. Okay, par 3, quite a big one, 236. Now, if we aim to about here, it should catch that slope and just work its way down. Just hit to the fat of the green, I think. Oh, you got to be sh sh kidding me. Oh. It's still going to kick left, but that is going to leave me one nasty, massive pup. All the times to hit a slow, really, I wanted to hit a fast there to be honest. <laughs> there we go. I'll tell you what, oh, yeah, it is pretty big. Three feet down. I'm actually just going to aim it to the top of the slope here. Right, what have we got? That's going a little bit left, a little bit left, a little bit right. So it's actually pretty straight, to be honest. Maybe, let's try that. Oh, I pulled that back a little bit too much, I think. Let's put it a bit there. That should hit the slope, but it should start to turn back in. Oh, it's going to go pacey past. Oh, should have pulled that back quite a bit more. Oh, it's going to go on the fringe. Damn it, that sort of picked up speed as soon as it hit that slope. Oh, this is part three as well. Okay, so we're going to be dropping back down. Definitely hit it fast, pulls it left. And we're quite, quite a bit past as well. Oh. No, 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 no. I thought we had a bogey there. That's a double. That's not good. I was just about to say, so we'll take the bogey. <laughs> Okay, now this is dangerous. I think I'm actually going to aim way out to the right here and put a little bit of draw on it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do not care. Oh, that's going to push over. Is it? No. Oh, actually made it on the green. Nice one. That was not a bad shot. Okay, 24 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, get in there. Nice. Double bogey, then even. That's what you want. Takes us back to minus 3. Very nice. Nice part. But we'll just skip that. Don't really need to see it. The only reason I keep that on is if I hit yeah, a really nice shot, then I can save it. Okay, 18th, half four. That's what I want, just slightly in the fast. That should be good. Right, do not want to hit a fast here. Water on the left. I'll have to take a screenshot when I go up there as well. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Oh, but I didn't want to hit it slow either. That's the times where you want to hit a nice perfect. But we are on the green. I'm going to take a quick screenshot from here. We should get a good screenshot. Let's turn the grid off as usual. Oh, I should have put the flag in, damn it. Well, that'll do there, I think. Let's get the clubhouse now as well. And I'll take one from this side. Come on, trees, out of the way. There we go, one looking down there as well. There we go, that'll do it. Lovely. Right. Green grid back on. Okay, well, we've got 49 feet or one inch up. 
quite a bit left to right here. Okay, it's turning, it's going to turn pretty nice when it gets to the top here. Oh, that is not bad. That is not a bad putt. So we'll take the par there. So there you go, guys. That is pre the Preserve a GC by a friend Bomber. I'll give that a play. Very, very nice course. Very natural layout. Plays absolutely fantastic. And look, I've just done the pink par again for the 20th or 30th time. I wish it'd stop that. Don't forget, guys, have a look down in the description. I'll put a link to his course catalog. You can see the amount of courses he's got there. Absolutely fantastic designer. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.